Hello and welcome to Tech Tips. My name is Lisa and I'm a librarian at St. Albert Public Library and I'd like to show you today some of my favorite e-resources that you get free with your library card for movies and TV shows. So the first thing you need to do is go to our website, sample.ca, and you're going to click on e-library. And I'm on my iPad, so things are probably going to look a little different if you're on a phone or if you're on a computer. So we're just going to scroll down here and I'm going to tell it to filter by movies and TV. And these are my top three e-resources to use for movies and TV shows. So let's take a look at them. The first one I want to show you is Hoopla. So this is Hoopla. I'm logged in right now. If you don't have a Hoopla account, you can create one following the steps on our website. Hoopla has a ton of great content. Right now, it's just bringing up everything. But let's say I want to browse by, I can select and filter down by movies. So if I tap on there, it's going to bring up a whole bunch of different movies. Tons and tons of things. Let's say you just want to browse. You can tap on categories and you can browse by the style you want. So I'm a big mystery fan. So let's just tap on, you can see there's Masterpiece Theater down here. I'm going to tap on mystery. So let's see what movies it brings up. So we've got lots of movies, tons of them here but we can filter even further down. So let's say I know it's a movie that was older. So probably in the last 12 months, I can filter down by that. And let's say I want to see what patrons have rated it as. You can see them right here. Or I wanna change the language. So I'm gonna filter down even further. And now we're getting 18 results. That's a whole lot easier to find some things. So that's some of my tricks on how to find different movies in here. But let's say you would like some TV shows. Let's click on browse again and let's cl click on television. And there we are. We are now at where there's TV. So you can do recommended, featured, popular, or categories. And then we have some banners running along the top here. Hoopla bonus borrows right there. That one there. Those are all TV shows that you don't have to use one of your Hoopla borrows for. You have access to these Hoopla bonus boroughs until the end of April. And that's not just for TV, that's for all formats in Hoopla. So let's have a look again here at our TV. So these are all the different categories that we can search um, TV by. So let's take a peek here. I'm going to look at, hmm, what should we have a peek at? Well, since none of us can travel, I'm gonna tap on travel and see if what I've got here. Now look at that, 44 different TV shows that have some, some aspect to do with traveling. Look at that, there's tons of them. So let's say I really want to go to Italy, but obviously you know, right now none of us can, can. So you can read through that. If you like what it sounds like, each of the, I should mention each of these episodes count as one borrow and you can borrow up to seven items per month in Hoopla. We've just recently raised that temporarily. So each of these will count as a borrow. So you can read through, you can choose what episode you like the best and you just click on borrow and then you'll have that for three days. So that is my first e-resource that I would recommend for TV shows and movies. The second one I'd like to show you, we're gonna go back here, is Canopy. Let's wait till Canopy opens here. There we are. So Canopy is different than Hoopla. The content, there isn't much overlap in content between it and Hoopla. Canopy has independent movies, documentaries, um, oh, tons of things, great courses, you name it, they have it. They've got lots of award winners. Right now, like Hoopla's bonus borrows, they have something called credit-free viewing. That's it right here. So any of these don't count as one of your canopy borrows. And again, like Coupla, we recently raised the number of borrows per month. So you can borrow seven, borrow seven films per month. And these ones here do not count. The credit-free viewing do not count towards those seven. Uh, the one thing with Canopy um, that's different than with Hoopla. Hoopla, you can download the TVs and movies. Canopy, it's streaming only. So you need to have an internet connection. Now let's take a look at what kind of content they have. So they've got newly added movies, they have great documentaries. Trending now are some of the most popular things. If you're a fan of the great courses, we've got tons of great courses on here. I highly recommend them. And we'll just scroll through. So very similar to Hoopla, you can scroll through and see the different 
collections they have, or you can tap on browse. And again, I'm on my iPad, so this will look a little different for you. Now you can browse by the different categories. So movies, there's the arts, that'll bring up something. These are all movies, but this is going to be more art focused. Lots of great content there. Now this one, I want to just point out here where it says education. Great content. If you are a parent with children right now, you're going to want to look at instructional films and lessons. It's the second from the bottom here. So they are all different films that you can use to help school your children. And they're kind of interesting for parents as well. So you can see there's lots of things on Canopy. Tons. You can also search, just like in Hoopla, you can tap on a search and let's say you know somebody that you want to watch. I'm going to type in one of my favorites, somebody who's older, but still good. There we go. So I just typed in Fred Astaire and look at that. They have Royal Wedding. That's an old one from 1951. Great film, by the way, if you're a big musical fan. So that's, that's one of the ways you can search. You can search by just doing keyword, you can search by an actor, a director, you name it. And that is Canopy. Really, really easy to use. So let's take a peek at our newest movie and TV show. It's called Acorn TV and it's right here. We're going to tap on it. So if you don't have an Acorn account, you can create it here. Right now I'm logged in. I will mention if you have an RB Digital account, your RB Digital login is actually your Canopy login. So I'm already logged in. We're just going to tap on Get Started because I want to show you what's in here. Now it will prompt you to access it. So Acorn works a little differently than Hoopla and Canopy. Acorn TV, you can check out two seven-day accesses per month. But during those seven days, you can watch as much content as you would like. So it's a little different. It's not by checkout by each film it is by week so you can basically you can use acorn tv for two weeks a month and there is fantastic content this is, tends to be more british um, content british australian and beyond so if you are a huge fan of british tv you're gonna love acorn tv midsummer murders we've got miss fisher if you're a Miss Fisher fan, they have the brand new Miss Fisher movie ju just came out. I think it's sitting right up here. Let's have a scroll through. Oh, they've changed it. We can find it though. So you can see there's tons of things. There's mini series, TV shows, content that's only on Acorn. So like a lot of the different um, movie platforms that you might pay for, like Netflix, um, they create their own content. So does Acorn. So they have things that are only available here on Acorn. So you can see there's lots of things. I'm going to show you how you can search in it. So unlike the rest of them where you can see things along the bottom, like search and browse, it's these three little lines up here. Again, if you're on a computer, this is going to look different. So you can browse. So I'm going to tap on that. That's what we were looking at before. But let's say I know what I want. So this is one of my favorite shows. We're just going to type this in here, spelled correctly this time, there we go. So I'm just searching because I know the name of this TV show, so it's right here. And so now I can read about it, and here are all the different seasons. Now they call them series, it's actually seasons, same thing. So you can see that there's tons of them, and you can watch all of them as much as you can watch in seven days. So it doesn't matter if you're watching more than one episode, that doesn't count. It's seven day access. And you can check out two seven day accesses per month. And it's really easy to use. Let's say I want to watch this episode. I just tap on it. And it's just thinking here. And there we go. We are in. And it's as easy as that. So you have three fantastic resources to access movies and TV shows that are free with your library card. So definitely, I highly recommend you take a peek under eLibrary and you can filter down by movies and TV shows and happy watching. Thanks for listening.